now the first step is to if you are able to launch the game you can try this if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step so if you are able to la launch the game set the game priority to high turn off frame generation try vsync off and on try window mode lower down graphic settings now for this launch the game first now once you launch the game now go to settings go to graphic settings over here now before you make any changes over here first of all make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager and then you will see the game exe file now make a right click on the game exe file over here so this is the exe file make a right click and then click on go to details and once you go to the details tab here you will see the game over here make a right click on the game and then set priority set it to above normal or you can even try high and then click on change priority if you see uh, any other exe file like project plague then if you see two exe file make a right click and then again set priority and you can set it to high and then you can check if that does not work then go to uh, in game settings go to graphics first of all if the overall quality if this is set to like ultra uh, you can try high you can even set to mid over here and then confirm so confirm and once you confirm it scroll up now over here uh, if this is set to like uh, borderless window mode you can try window mode if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now in my case i have logged the fps at 60 so if it is set to unlimited maybe you can try 90 or 60 and vsync uh, you can if this is on uh, you can turn it off and then check if it is already off you can turn it on and then check and then confirm the settings and then go to advanced graphics settings over here now if you're using dlss or fsr uh, in that case uh, frame generation if this is on turn off frame generation this has worked for many players so it might work for you so turn off frame generation and still not working you can try tsr so in my case i have selected tsr and over here you can see all the graphics option i have set it to mid or low and then confirm the settings make sure that you confirm the settings and then you can check the performance now still not working uh, the next step is to increase the virtual memory so let me close the game for now first to increase the virtual memory uh, type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings under the advanced tab now go to advanced option over here advanced tab and then click on change over here now uncheck this automatically manage paging file uncheck this select your drive where the game is installed mm -hmm. and then select custom over here for initial size uh, you can check how many uh, how much ram you have so you can go to system and then you can go to about option and over here you will see the ram in my case it's 16 gigabyte so if you have 8 gigabyte you have to calculate it as per your ram so for me if it is 8 you have to con convert the 8 gigabyte into into 1024 that is 16384 16384 and the initial size is actually uh, 1.5 1.5 1 into total ram so for me it's uh, uh, 16 gigabyte 16 into 1024 and into 1 1.5 1.5 24576 so it's 24576 24576 and for maximum size it's three times the total ram so three times the total ram total ram total ram 623 that is 49152 49152 and then click on set over here 
and then click on OK and then OK OK now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working then try automatic paging file now for this again uh, type in view advanced system settings and then this time uh, click on settings and then go to advanced click on change and try this system managed size select your drive where the game is installed and then uh, select system manage size and then click on set and then click on ok and restart your computer so whenever you make changes over here just make sure that you restart your computer uh, then apply click on ok and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check and when you increase the virtual memory this one make sure that you restart your computer still not working again you can go to settings and you can just set it to uh, click on change over here and you can just click on automatically manage paging file and then you can click on ok and then restart your computer once again and then launch the game check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website so i'm showing for dell this is just an example uh, so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number so whichever brand you have go to their website and then you have to select your model number and so select your model number and uh, then find the latest bios now for this drivers and downloads select your operating system whichever operating system you have so if you have windows 11 click on select driver and then select windows 11 and then uh, you can click on categories this is just an example uh, you find your bios update and uh, once you find the bios now click on download latest one now click on download and then you can uh, run this file and you can install it but in case of laptop before you upgrade the system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to rename or delete the config folder when you rename or delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and then project plague folder save folder here you can see config folder you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder and then you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to Try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel and then go to hardware and sound. Go to power options over here. In my case, I have only one option that is balanced. In your case, you might see the, these multiple options like power saver. So select power saver over here. Once you select power saver, then restart your computer and then launch the game. You can even try balanced and then check restart your computer and then check. You can even go for high performance and check. check which power plan is working for you and then launch the game next step is to uh, now if this power saver is not working then you can use this intel extreme tuning utility software if you are already using it you can launch it if you're not using it you can install it search in google and then you can go to performance score ratio if this is set to like 58x or maybe 59x you can try 56 55 54 or 53x and then hit apply and then you have to restart your computer and then launch the game or simply launch the game if that does not work then restart the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so try to launch the game as an administrator manage browse local files and then open this project play binaries win64 and find the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work go to properties and then go to this tab run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check 
select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK. Try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Now still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. And then hit apply. And then follow the next step. Now the next step is to launch the game using NVIDIA app. So if you have NVIDIA app installed, then you can simply launch NVIDIA app and uh, you can go to home and then you will see the game over here. You can click on play over here and then check. You can even go to settings. If you see the optimize option over here, you can hit optimize and then launch the game. If the game is already optimized, in that case, you can click on revert option, revert optimization and then check. Still not working, then close, uh, close NVIDIA app. So sometimes the NVIDIA app uh, doesn't work. So you can close the NVIDIA app and then launch the game. Next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this open window settings, go to system and then go to display and then scroll down, go to graphics option over here and then here you can see uh, advanced graphic settings. Now if the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is off, turn it on. Now launch the game once again and then check. If it is already on, turn it off and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have an NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system and then click on find. And on this page, uh, the latest graphic card driver will be on top. So GeForce Game Ready driver. This is the latest 577 version right now. So whichever is the latest, click on view and then download this file. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Now on this screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to. Now AMD card users uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings and then go to graphics settings over here. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder project play binaries win64 select this exe file win64 one add and then once the game is added scroll down and find the game in the list click on the game select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here and then check if that is, you can even go to a desktop select the first exe file this one click on add once added click on it and then select your graphic card over here and then launch the game Desktop users make sure that display cable is connected or HDMI cable is connected to the dedicated graphic card slot. Sometimes it is connected to the motherboard slot. So if your computer has a dual graphic card like me, one is Intel, other is the Nvidia. So make sure that you connect the cable to this graphic card slot, not the Intel one. Next step is to roll back graphics card driver. Uh, so if the latest graphic card driver is not working, go to Nvidia website and on this page, after you select your graphic card and operating system, uh, you can uh, click on view more version and then over here you can try the previous one 576.88 or maybe 576.80. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then you click on next and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. And then now you can launch the game and then check still not working. Then you can try dash DX12. Now launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game file. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, we go to Windows update. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, turn it off. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, 
you can open nvidia app go to settings and turn off this nvidia overlay and then close all the overlay application and then launch the game do not overclock if you have overclocked you can set it uh, set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner revertiner any kind of overclocking application close it close all the third party application including all your browsers make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything also if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse uh, sorry click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and once you delete it now restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix out of video memory error with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel